thing that I remember most distinctly is an FBI agent holding a gun in my face. We're six activists who are indicted under federal terrorism laws. U.S. attorneys called it a campaign of terrorism. We didn't break anything. We didn't burn anything. We didn't beat anyone. We didn't even so much as trespass. Our crime is doing exactly what I'm doing right now, speaking. Any threat to cause a loss of profit to a corporation is now considered an act of terrorism. We are committed to working with our partners to disrupt and dismantle these movements, to protect our fellow citizens, and to bring to justice those who disrupt business and inflict serious economic damage. The largest accounting firm in the world just backed up within 24 hours. This wasn't about solving a crime. This was about sending a message that you better shut up. You have to have a degree of arrogance to think you can take on multinational corporations and win. Corporations get to do what they want. We challenge the right of this corporation to exist. They speak in a language of money. They needs to be targeted financially. We Legitimate business enterprises are suffering. It's just about the dollar bill. The world's biggest financial corporations realized one thing, that it wasn't worth it. The share price dropped from like $30 to a few pennies. That's not terrorism. That's effective activism. Every ounce of progress that we've had towards a more just world has come because there were people who were willing to fight and willing to sacrifice. The police had set up this free speech zone, which makes you wonder, then what's everything outside of the free speech zone? There were more wiretaps used against people associated with this movement than any other counterterrorism investigation in U.S. history. There was no direct evidence of any unlawful conduct. What will happen when the activists move to the timber industry or the defense industry? If this continues, the extremists will have won, and the loser will be humanity.